Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here. I'm here with my guest stars, J5351A and Brian Mendoza, to tell you our top five most anticipated films for fall slash winter 2014. Now, before we do get into our list, um, we're going to go into honorable mentions. I'm not going to go into mine because I'm going to save that for another video. And Brian, you don't have yours, right? Correct. All right, so we're just going to start off with J5 here who has a couple of honorable mentions. Well, and, then from there, and then from there, we'll go into our list. So, dude, what are your honorable mentions? Hi, all. Well, the two I'm going to mention are one of them. It is The Book of Life. If you want to know what this movie is about, it's about Guillermo del Toro's animated movie, uh, the story of how Dia de los Muertos was kind of told in a in a fantasy setting. It uh, the, the the trailer looks beautiful. I love the Mezzo Mexican uh, uh, art style. It it blends the whole Spanish culture, and we have a lot of great voice actors. Number six over is something that might give you guys a little lowbrow. Dracula and Toad, starring Luke Evans. As playing the title role of Vlad the Impaler, but known as Dracula. From what we've seen from the trailer, it looks like an interesting adaptation of the original story of Vlad the Impaler. You know, the legend of the guy who stabbed almost his whole army to become a vampire he wished to become. So it's kind of that with the whole mix of Kingdom of Heaven ish, with a bit of, I guess, the Dracula story into it. Number five. Brian, you go first. I'm going to go with The Equalizer. Uh, I saw this trailer in Dumb and Fun Apes. That movie looks badass, I gotta say. You know, Denzel Washington, one of my favorite actors. Definitely one of those movies I want to check out. Unfortunately, I won't be able to see it in the theater. So I'm going to wait for that Blu-ray. Jacob, what is, your, what is your number five spot? Number five is the drama The Judge. I like the idea that these two great actors are finally together in a film. Two Roberts come here. We should call this movie Two Fucking Roberts. Anyway, just kidding. Uh, Robert Duvall, a great actor. You know him for great movies, as always. He's a great villain and a great hero actor. Same thing with Tony Stark himself. I mean, I mean Dow Jr. I mean, you have two of the great Roberts. Robert Duvall and Robert Dow Jr. And thinking the whole court story can work in this drama about a father and son trying to reunite after all long years. My number five pick is going to be Gone Girl. Directed by David oh. Fincher, starring Ben Affleck. I've never read the book. I don't even know too much about it. And from the trailer, I still don't even know how the whole film's going to unfold, which is good. All I know is that Ben Affleck, the movie's kind of tricking, uh, tricking us with Ben Affleck's character, whether he did it or not. It's kind of like, did he do it? Did he not? Did he do it? Did he not? So it's kind of fucking with your mind in that sense. But based on what I see in the trailer, yeah, it looks... Yeah. It looks like it's going to be very interesting. It, it has the potential to be one of the best films of the year if it's done well. David Fincher is a very talented director. You've got Ben Affleck in here as well as other talents here. So Gone Girl is my number five pick. I can't wait for this film. It looks like it's going to be great. Now, number four, Brian. My well, number four is going to be Dracula Untold. Uh... First time I saw this trailer in the IMAX, it looked okay, but when I checked it out again, I thought it looked pretty cool. Something different to see from the Dracula character. It looks epic. It looks really awesome. Uh, Luke Evans, um, he's a really good actor, so that's my number four. J5? Fury. I am sometimes a good war hero movie. I love a good war story that's real and not fictional. It looks epic, dramatic, and reminds me of Black Hawk Down or Lone Survivor in that epicness. So a good story for the American heroes, I'm down with. So there you go. Number four for me, you have to buy a ticket. You have to buy a ticket. Oh, God, Night no. Crawler. Yes, Nightcrawler with Jake Gyllenhaal. This movie, you know what? It kind of tells you how the news and media really works out in that dark and twisted sense. And obviously, Jake Gyllenhaal, you could tell that he lost weight for this role. He looks really creepy, especially when he like stares at you all awkwardly. It's like, oh, 
Jake Gyllenhaal looks like he's going to give one of the best performances of his career. The movie as a whole looks like it's going to be really interesting. It's going to be psychological, very intense. This movie just looks really intriguing to me. Great cinematography. I hope this is a movie that could be in my best list because it really looks like a very great movie, very interesting. And like I said, this could be one of the best performances for Jake Gyllenhaal's career. So that is my number four most anticipated movie for Fall Winter 2014, Nightcrawler. My number three is Gone Girl. Uh, the Adventure, one of my favorite directors, he made some good thrillers. Fight Club, he, another one yeah. of my favorite movies from him is Social Network, which I really, surprisingly, I love that movie. I thought I was going to be bored watching that. But Gone Girl, the, from the trailers, it looks really interesting. Uh, yeah, I gotta agree with Tony. It does mess up with your mind when you see the commercials and stuff. Yeah. But yeah, got a great cast in there. Pretty rad to see Neil Patrick Harris in there. But, well, I'm gonna. Can't wait to see it. What is your number three, J5? Interstellar. This is a new movie directed by the one and only God of Dark, Dark Drama and Action. Christopher Nolan. And we all know Christopher Nolan is good at drama and suspense. And Matthew McConaughey, Matthew McConaughey would always do his best playing a serious role, even how funny he is. So, yes, Interstellar. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Number three for me is The Penguins of Madagascar. Whoa, well, peng Penguins of Madagascar. Come on. You, if, you, you guys, if you guys have been following my channel, you'd know this movie had to somehow make it in my top five most anticipated list. I love the Madagascar movies, all three of them. They're all hilarious. They're all heartwarming. I adore those films. And, of course, one of the best parts about those films are the penguins themselves. And the penguins even have their own TV show on Nickelodeon, which I love to watch too. But I'm so glad to see that they're having their own spin-off movie. It looks like it's going to be something funny. It's going to be a little something creative. And plus, you're going to have Benedict Cumberbatch. You're going to have John Malkovich in here. Kang Jong. You have a talented cast in here, too. It looks like it's going to make me laugh my ass off. I hope to laugh. I hope to have my heart touched. And I hope to just have a ton of fun. And also, hopefully, make it and my best films list because I really want to love this movie. So there you go. Penguins of Madagascar is my number three. My number two is actually Walking the Tomb Sands with Liam Neeson. It looks like a pretty good mystery film. It's pretty cool to see him as a uh, private detective and stuff like Air Marshal hijacking a plane. I'm just kidding. But it looks pretty good in the trailer. Uh, definitely going to check it out when it comes out on Blu ray. J5, what is your number two? The Hobbit, Battle of the Five Armies. Why the fuck did you change the title? I guess I was going to Anyway, I love Martin Freeman. I like all the actors there. Richard Ardenborough. I mean, all the actors are very good here. This is the final Hobbit movie in the damn franchise. So that way we have this epic marathon of epic proportions, ladies and gentlemen. The story about this is the El Dwarves and Bilbo flipping baggins finally find the way back to their home, and so also not only dealing with the Bard in Rivertown, but also dealing with Cumberbatch back as Smaug, the evil dragon and resentless. Now on to kill only not only dwarf and elven kind, but mankind. So, all of them must join together to stop Smaug and the evils of Saruman. When I saw it, the poster looked fucking badass. When you got Bilbo all dressed honorably with the cloth and the armor, you have him with, you know, Sin, the sword of the goblin killer. I mean, you have everything. The bard ready to load the arrow near the end of the story from the last movie. Let's hope it's a Christmas gift and not a lump of coal. There you go. The Hobbit Battle of the Five Armies. It looks like me and you have the same number two because that is also my number two. The Hobbit Battle of the Five Armies is my second most anticipated film for this fall winter 2014. I'm basically going to say the same as J5 here. The trailer looks really intriguing. The music sounds beautiful. Uh, Peter Jackson's direction looks like it's going to be really interesting. It's going to be really cool to see how 
it's going to conclude with these characters and all of these battles that we're going to see these characters go through because we have a total of five armies that we're going to see them battle. And I love the first one. Does it get a little slow? Yeah, but I still loved it. And I love the second film a little more than the first. And I hope the third film could be just as amazing as the first two and maybe exceed them just a little bit and just overall be a satisfying conclusion. Plus, like what you said, J5, that movie poster, damn bad ass. So, yes, I can't wait for this film. I can't wait to see how it concludes. That's right. The Hobbit, the Battle of the Five Armies. Bring it on. And now, everyone, we go into our number one, the one movie we are anticipated to see more than any of the other films coming out in the fall and winter. So, Brian, what is your number one most anticipated film for this fall and winter, 2014? This one I'm so going to see in IMAX, and that is, all right, all right, all right, Interstellar. If you guys don't know, sci-fi is one of my favorite movie genres, and from the trailers, from what I saw, it looks amazing. Um, I think I actually read what it's about, which I won't tell you guys, really, but I'm looking forward to it. It looks fantastic, the visuals from the trailer. Hopefully it's going to be epic, and yeah, that's what everyone J5, what is your number one? You guys will be very creeped out by this, but here it is. My number one is... Uh, 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 Big Hero 6. Yes. Nice. It's Marvel's first manga. The story of Hero and a group of their other kids become superhero inventors to stop Dr. Kamikaze. This is based on Marvel's manga. Really. I'm not lying. Marvel made a fucking manga. And from what I've heard, it's pretty good. It's an independent series that came out in 2006, 2005. And from the trailer by, done by Disney, holy fuck, this is amazing. Screw you, Speed Racer or Dragon Ball Evolution. This is how you do it. <laughs> also, um, this doesn't have an anime yet, but I want it, god damn it. Marvel, make it happen. And also the furry baby. Oh, Quibo, you're so hilarious. Furry baby. That's a cat, you dummy. But anyway, that's my choice. Big Hero 6 <laughs> comes out Thanksgiving. Let it ride. Right. Me and Brian have the same number one. My number one Yay! is also Interstellar. Come on. How can I not be excited for this film? I am a huge fan of Christopher Nolan. Hell, uh, The Dark Knight Rises is my favorite film of 2012, and... If it happens, just maybe, this could be my favorite of 2014 if it really exceeds all my expectations. Also, if it ends up being better than some of the other movies I love this year. Yes, what can you really say about Interstellar? The trailers don't give you much info, which is a good thing because you don't want to be spoiled. Every single thing in the movie, <coughs> The Amazing Spider-Man 2, but <laughs> yeah, this movie looks visually stunning. The movie looks very beautiful. You've got Anne Hathaway in it. You've got Michael Caine in it. Jessica Chastain in it. The, you have a talented cast, a great director. Interstellar looks like it could be a cinematic uh, masterpiece if done right. And I have a lot of hope for it since we have a great talent. So that is my number one. Thank you, Brian and J5, for joining me here to tell your top five most anticipated for fall winter 2014. You're welcome, senor. In the comments down below, tell me, what are your top five most anticipated movies for fall winter 2014? Uh, I will leave a link to J5's channel and Brian's channel in the description below. <laughs> this is 22 Tiger Dude. This is J5 sign up. And this is Brandon Mendoza. Just because Brandon Mendoza here. See you guys. And don't forget that all of us will always have... Uh -huh. Time to power!